Hello everyone, good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you all. I'm just waiting for YouTube to behave. Come on YouTube, you know you want to. Now we're live on Twitch, we can see you there. Hello folks. Happy New Year to you all, hope you're all marvellous. cooperating no it's not it's not behaving yeah. how dare it i can see try something via the feed let me see if i can i can do a thing do a thing eric doing can, a thing eric can do things <laughs> uh oh it looks like it's going to a different location um, interesting. Hmm. So, yeah, uh, that's fun. <laughs> First start of stream of the year and things are broken. Go of course. Thought. 2024. Absolutely. We absolutely can't start a stream without uh, technical issues, can you? <laughs> um, so, uh, so folks over in the first YouTube chat, I am sharing with you uh, where you actually need to go because apparently we're at a different location. Sorry about that. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's find it. We'll all go there together. Hop over, folks. see you there let me see if I can do one more thing to fix this but you know no I can't there we go there we go yeah sorry about that folks YouTube was just being YouTube. So glad you could join us for that. So let's get that down there. Right. There we go. We have chats. I can see things. That's good. Excellent. Right. Without further ado, let's dive in and hope everybody joins us. Hello everybody, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, welcome, 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 hope you're all tickety-boo, hope you're all fabulous, and a happy new year to you all, hope you had a wonderful festive period. Yes, it's me, Gary, <laughs> who's going to be your host for this evening. Uh, it would have been Eric, uh, he is joining me, say hello Eric. Hello, how's hello. it going guys? <laughs> he's uh, he's feeling a bit poorly, is the poor chap, unfortunately. Um, you know, the, the winter lurgies flying around and unfortunately uh, he succumbed a little bit. So I stepped in because we didn't want to hear him coughing, spluttering. He was looking a bit peaky earlier. So, you yeah, know, we thought, you know, why not have my joyous face on screen rather than looking at a sick Eric? Anyway, um, welcome along. Anyway, thank you for joining us as always. Uh, like I say, I hope you had a wonderful festive period, whatever you spent it doing. I uh, hope you had some wonderful gifts if you celebrate, etc. So, uh, yes, um, Let's lay out what we're going to do. So um, the plan is uh, we're going to talk about something that you will have seen uh, over the past few days, uh, and that is our uh, impending upgrade uh, to Unreal Engine 5. Yes, there's a nice big blog post that uh, Lee put out on to Steam, and we've put it uh, replicated at various other places as well. So we're going to be talking about that in a little bit. Um, we're also going to be looking at what's going to be coming in early 2024. 
um, and all the various um, things that we've got planned, uh, as much as we can tell you uh, on that score. Uh, and then we're going to be continuing my playthrough, um, which I'm playing on hard. I know some of you were dissing me previously that I was playing on a little bit too easy, and then I went on to hard and I kept dying, so we shall see. Um, then we're going to have some Q&As, obviously, as we... Um, go through the various various uh, parts of the stream and then we'll wrap up with some screenshots and then a lot more questions as they come in so eric's going to be collating the questions this week uh, you know it's normally my job and he's the pretty face that you see uh, but he's going to be the croaky voice in the background uh, every now and again uh, asking the questions and we'll see if we can answer them uh, if there's anything we croaky can't answer <laughs> anything we can't answer as normal uh, then do follow up with us on the discord uh, etc and we'll try and get it answered there you know we try and have as many answers ready for you as possible we can't always um uh, know everything so we may need to follow up with the team so uh, yeah we'll dive in start through the gameplay and then at a point we'll we'll take a little wee break and have a look at um the things uh to do with unreal engine 5 so uh, yes let's dive in so let's get loaded up now just while this is loading up, I am playing on the dev build, which is Unreal Engine 5. So, just um, just a heads up, you may see issues, you may see problems, we may have some bugs here and there. It's a live development build as always, so um, if you see something wonky, it's not the final product, this is the development build that we're working on. So, fingers crossed we won't see too much. Uh, if we do, we'll just scoot past it and say, ooh, Live game development, always fun. So, uh, yeah. So, we did grab a striker because I have been enjoying the striker um, here at Nefties. And let's. Um, uh, Deceivian, uh, yes, uh, just over on uh, Twitch chat there. Uh, just a reminder yeah, the YouTube channel, for some reason, it is not going up to the page that we uh, had mentioned. We've got a new page. Uh, I'm hoping Eric can bonk that into chat again for us. Uh, for the new page for the youtube followers um yeah we've had an issue with youtube so we had to switch to a new uh, video page but we shall see but uh hello everyone uh, that's joining us uh, unfortunately yeah we've just had a technical problem so let's have a look at the missions uh, oh spares and scraps so find the jump gate at crudis ball which obviously is where yeah. Right, let's jump out of here. Let's get going. See what we find on our little journey. There we go. Hey, there we go. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Excellent. Just a little short hop. Uh, if you do have any questions, please do put them into the chat. Uh, wherever you are watching us, um, hopefully you... The YouTube peeps will join us soon, and then um, we can get those questions collated. Hi, our Rhino. Welcome along. Welcome along. Good to see you. Thank you for uh, enjoying the game. I hope you do enjoy it. And dive in some more. Dive in some more. Right, so we've got to find and loot the scrapped junk gate. Where could we help that then? That looks like a big broken junk gate. So let's grab that. Uh, we're seemingly getting some coming through on the tube of you. Yes, everyone should be correct now. <laughs> All technical challenges have been bested at the moment. Yeah. So uh, welcome, everybody. Sorry about that delay. Always, always fun. New year, new technical issues, you know? Yep, yep. All right, we need to find a jump suppressor wherever he may be. But let's have a look for some containers and loot, shall we? But yeah, you guys are just joining us over on YouTube. Sorry about the uh, the little technical issues. You know, it's one of those things you can test and test and test. It's like game development, and then when you push the buttons, things go wrong. Um, but yeah, we're um, uh, we're just playing on the hard build, uh, hard build on the dev build rather. Uh, probably very hard actually. Um, so we're playing on the uh, the dev build. So if you do see any issues, then yeah live game development uh, and yeah for those of you who are joining us uh you know i'm gonna sneak that container loot there thank you very much um eric is a little bit poorly um 
he's, he's still alive. He's still uh, he's still breathing. We're okay. We haven't lost him yet. You know, we're good. We're good. But yeah, he's just on the comms with me. Uh, he's going to be collating the questions and then popping them in as uh, as we get the time. So let's find this jump suppressor, shall we? Maybe more containers. Always good. There we go. And that one. Oop. The game. The game. Look at it. Look at that. I mean, that's a very archetypal screenshot for Everspace 2, but it is one of the finest in the game. One of the finest. The, uh, the artiste did a wonderful job there. Wonderful job. All right. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. 81, 82, 83. Around here somewhere. Uh, Slurine, yes, over on YouTube. Yes, this is indeed. We are playing on the uh, the dev build, the Unreal Engine 5. So we could see bugs. We could see issues. But, uh, you know, live game development is always good. Right. Let's see. And... And... Ah, Nobody wants us to leave. Right, see if we can slice ourselves into multiple pieces. There we go. Let's not slice our striker in half. It'll be a stry. Whoop. Right. There we go. Whoop. Well, there's the generator. Oh, I left the battery around the other side, didn't I? Silly me. Let's go get the battery. Boosty wound. Just uh, while we're going through this segment, just a quick note to everybody, because I do see some uh, a number of questions coming in. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, just so everyone knows how this process works. We are collating your questions right now, and then I will pop up in about eh, 10, 15 minutes, and I'm going to throw them at Gary and see how well he answers them and make sure that everyone gets a response. So okay, thanks well, for your patience. Keep asking those questions. I feel like I'm on the, uh, I'm on the test now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you absolutely Yeah, are. yeah. <laughs> around here i went the wrong way didn't i there we go there we go so yeah yeah just to reiterate we will go through the questions in a little while and we'll see what we can get answered for you okay shield generator you can go there we go and then up we go love how the placement of the sun is just perfect as you venture out of here that's it i'm out of here please don't geo -oo. Huh? Who is this? I am you need your parts. Uh, right, but so do <laughs> I. You know, this is a junkyard. This is a junkyard. For spares that aren't attached to people. Computing request. Request accepted. I www will lo ff for spares that are not attached from PPP people. <laughs> nice. The signal's coming from near the jump gate. Maybe that bot knows what happened to the gate's key module. Maybe. Right, let's get docked at GMB Scrapyard, and we shall take... Look, see. Welcome to Caribdis Recycling Plant, where your garbage is our future. How may I help you, ooh, ooh, ooh? I'm looking for a jump gate module that can generate new jump keys. Computing request. Only head management at HQ can generate and activate new key codes. If you are an employee of Grady and Brunt, please direct all code requests to HQ. HQ? That's not even in this system. Eight. You're saying that everyone who isn't part of the company cannot leave CETO? Exempt our colonial military off. Off, off, off. <laughs> Turning off all systems. They got a little banjack. What about the military? Colonial officials may use their military override to access jumping facilities. A military override, huh? Pyrus, I need P-A-R. These parts. Thank you for having visited Caribdis Recycling Plant. 
where your garbages are, few oo oh. Poor guy. But time to head back to Dax. <clears throat> yes. Quick restock. Let's get out of there. Right. So I didn't find anything particular, but valuable shipwreck. That could be good. Always handy. Right, let's just grab some debris. Pump that out of the way. And let's search. What do we get? A nanobox and a powerful beam laser. Okay, that's not too shabby. <laughs> Vibrated. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Uh, I can't use them just yet, so. Let's buy the. Oh, buy, let's find the loot. Always good. Oh, they're at the back of that same place. It's been a while since I've been down here. See you. All the containers. Blaster, not a favourite of mine. Does some good damage though. Ooh, blueprint. What did we get? An energy core. Oh. Right, let's get out of here. Let's do you head back and speak to Dax. So yeah, keep throwing those questions our way. Uh, <coughs> Seth uh, over on Twitch. Yeah, we had a, an issue. Um, on the YouTube the uh, page where the uh, the actual uh, video was supposed to go live, um, so yeah, if anybody is clicking the original link, then yeah, it's not it's not behaving itself. We have switched to a new link. And I just changed it on Discord, so any latecomers will find that correctly linking them now. So thank you for the reports on that, and uh, also sorry. <laughs> Looks like there's only one place where we will most definitely find one, but it won't be easy. Excellent. That pause is on you now. Your friend just emerged from cryo. Ben, he's awake? No, the other one. Ooh. Get your ass back here. Uh oh. <clears throat> See, maybe the good doctor has awoken. Uh, just while we're heading there, just a reminder that PlayStation 5 users, if you w do want to dive in to uh, play on your wonderful consoles, you can with a nice little discount at the moment. PlayStation 5 has got 30% off in the digital store. If you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you'll get an extra 10% off on top, which means you can have a nice discount of 40%. Now that is a bargain. So do dive in, tell your friends if they've got that console and uh, get them on board with the game. To enjoy. Hey, Spread the you? love. What is it? Dax? Uh -oh. Hold on tight. I'm on my way. Dax has gone quiet. There's Dax, the? looking Dax? a bit sleepy. He's coming. <laughs> Paralyzing darts. Your lab here is everything. So you hijacked my transport and brought me here. Not much I can figure out. You left me unattended, so you're obviously not that smart. Oof. He's fine. He'll just have a bit of a headache when he wakes oh, up. He's got a bit of a headache. Firstly, I feel I'm that. going to give you this local <laughs> muscle relaxant so you can move your jaw. Then I want you to talk. If you don't give me satisfactory. Yeah, so those of us just joining I'll us, um, yeah, Eric is a little bit poorly at the moment. He's on comms with me. He's going to be um, collating all the questions that we're going to go through in uh, about 10 minutes or so. And okay. then, um, you know, so we're giving his voice a, a little rest. So don't expect any beatboxing this week because either I'm not up to it and, and Eric's definitely not so up to it. So, yeah, <laughs> we'll be skipping that one this week. This is all I need. So you're outlaws. Not quite free agents. 
Uh, Desert Vulture over on Twitch. Uh, just going to read this one out while this yeah, scene's playing out. A big thank you to all at Rockfish Games for creating such a great game. And uh, thank you very much for uh, for buying it and playing it. And uh, ho hope you do enjoy it uh, and everything else that uh, that we bring to the game in the future. But yeah, thank you very much for, for that comment. Very, very nice of you. That was creepy. You responded to that almost <laughs> yeah, the no, exact same way that I responded in the text. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure what meds alone will do to help your friend in the cryo. Those are third and fourth degree burns. Oof. He'll need operating on. You weren't planning on doing it yourselves, were you? We're just doing what we think is right. Well, I'm a medic first and foremost, so I'm offering to save your friend. She's if, doing well. She's doing well, Miss Wenda. If you can get me back out of the DMZ afterwards, this is not where I need to be. Look, we'll bring you back to GMB. Apologies and all. No thanks. G and B are in my bad books now. Perhaps I should have read the small print in the contract. I had no idea I'd end up in the DMZ. Okay. Yeah, we can come to an arrangement. No small print. Okay yeah. then. Well, you two can scrape yourselves off the floor while I get to work. <laughs> and no funny business, okay? I have to admit, I like her style. Me too, Dax. She's cool. She's cool. Great character. <clears throat> I'm Delia, by the way. Dr. Delia Wendell. Call me Dex, and that's Adam. So, which one of you brought me into this mess? That was me. That puts you in the pilot seat when I fly back out. Don't worry. You and I have the same goal here. But first, we need to find a military override to get past the jump gate. You got a plan for that? Actually, we might. Adam, have you ever heard of the Cedo Ghost Ooh, Fleet? Ooh, Cedo Ghost Fleet. It's a graveyard of old war wrecks hidden by those blood star idiots. It's a treasure trove of scrap military tech, bunker casings, cruiser engines. Sounds like a place we need to head to. Units. Exactly. Problem is, it's hidden by distractor tech, so no one ever found it. So more bean bags? Nah, that's not outlaw style. They're more like fortified bases. <laughs> That'll make fortified it easier to find, but a hell that's of a lot tougher to take down. Where do I start looking? In the deep fields, I already uploaded some cords to your He's map. handy as Dax. Once he knows all the places. Down, the ghost fleet will make its grand entrance and present us with our ticket out of Cedo. Well, I do, Baited Frog. I definitely do enjoy the dialogue. I'll some data on my patient while you free agents get busy raiding bases. We're really not <laughs> boss. And I really don't care. We're good. As long as you uphold your end of the bargain. There we go, yeah. Ely is a brilliant character. Obviously, once you acquire the companions, then you can now go into your perks. And you can see that she gives us some options with regards to certain perks that she'll give you if you can obviously give her the required uh, items, such as for energy orbs, flawless athium credits, and super gel, which are kind of just hidden behind me here. But uh, they will help in collection initially of destroying ships. will set free some energy orbs. All these things are very, very handy, so uh, don't discount them. Do keep an eye on them, uh, either in, like tractor beam range, etc. Can be very, very beneficial for your playthrough. So uh, yeah, don't uh, don't ever uh, forget about your companions. Uh, we've unlocked some blueprints as well. Don't craft anything just yet, so I think we'll just uh, we'll crack on. We'll get we'll get out there and go find some things. Keep those questions coming in. Uh, another five minutes or so, and then we shall. Uh, dive into some questions I'm sure we've got a few with mentioned in the whole um, Unreal Engine 5 upgrade we've got tons it's great <laughs> and uh, I am cataloging multiple questions that have been asked uh, multiple times rather I should say mm -hmm. yep. um, so I'll read off everybody who asked a similar question whenever we're getting through that too so lots of fun that includes not revealing to her that you're a clone I know by now, you're just a regular dude and all, but there's a lot of resentment against clones in the colonies. You don't have to remind me. Not even Ben knows. Better keep it that way. Ben knows. Oh no! Let's have a little look, see at the distress call, shall we? Oh, what could go possibly wrong going into a random distress call? Nothing, I'm sure. Can you help me fix the damage to my craft? I'll 
Okay, I'll take a look. Okay, you're way over there. That's fine. That's cool. We get away with this one. We might just get away. Now it is very tempting. <clears throat> Freelance uh, freighter stuck in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> just, just, just saying. You might not want to transfer the item, you know. But you know, you might not want to help them. Anyway, I can thank you. Just pass it on. Maybe we can make the DMZ a better place. Indeed. Maybe we can. Yes, there is a, a, a slightly dubious option that we could have done there, but we did. We, we did. <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean there, bearded frog. It's um, <laughs> those freighters, those pesky freighters that, that killed me the last uh, playthrough. Yeah. <laughs> the business now people remember when you die. <laughs> Here we are, into undiscovered site one. Siren Sea, very murky. So much fog. It'll be hard to find a base in this murk. Okay. Oh, the Duchess is there as well for the beacon. Okay. So let's get rid of these. Because otherwise I will probably waltz straight into them. They also do give you a decent hint as well. If you're ever looking for anything, just have a little look-see around and just go, why would there be some mines there? Oh, there is a little hint there. Well, let's have a little look. So, bulletproof container. Grab some debris and pump that out of the way. Yep. There we go. Wink. There we go. Let's open. So, the annihilator virus. Nice device. And a mainframe component as well. So look at that. All right. Okay, there's a beacon bleeping over there, so let's head there. Again, visual hint. <coughs> okay, there. Look, okay, they're, they're all ranged. That's cool. So they are level six, we are level four, so this could get tasty. We are going to need to take out the drones first because we don't oh, want. Boy. It's his. Oh, the Viper came in as well. Typical. Ooh, hello. What I really didn't want is anything else to join the party, but we shall see. My aim appears to be way off. I am probably going to die there, yes. Mmm. We died to the drone. Well, that actually means we've got a very good point to stop and answer some questions. <laughs> Absolutely. And we've got a lot of really good questions. Um, so I think that we should just crack right into it. Um, Excellent. The very first question uh, comes from a number of individuals, comes from Late Volley on Twitch, from Wolfie Harvell on Twitch, from GT on YouTube, and uh, GT again on YouTube in two different capacities. Um, the question is, and surrounding, um, what benefits will we see through the migration to Unreal 5 that are either exciting um, or appreciated or otherwise? Right, okay. Um, I think with regards um, what people are expecting from our migration to Unreal Engine 5, uh, I think it's something we need to kind of lay out. And we did in the blog uh, quite significantly. I know Lee uh, wrote a fantastic blog uh, post up on Steam. Uh, the reason, the main reason that we're doing the whole um, upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 is simply for maintainability. Uh, we know that Unreal Engine 4 that we're currently on isn't supported any longer we're you know any issues that we have we have to find workarounds etc so in the time that we have between um uh, armed and dangerous which obviously was our previous free update 
and incursions which is going to be our next free update sometime in the spring of this year then we're going to be um we've got given the time uh to do the transition um we're hoping to support uh, everspace 2 for a long long time um it's something that the team are very keen to do um the tools that are available within Unreal Engine 5, um, we need to investigate them. We need to look at everything that they can give us, that we can bring them to the game. And that takes time. When you're working in a certain engine for any length of time, and the team have been working with Unreal Engine 4 for a long time, they know it very, very well. But Unreal Engine 5, even though it's the same company, it's made by Epic, there's a lot of nuances to it, and the team have to learn those. So for the maintainability being able to support our product for a lot lot longer we want to be able to be on the most prominent and current engine which is unreal engine 5. now i know a lot of people are looking at certain features that can come with unreal engine 5 there's a lot of talk of lumen which is the lighting and then nanite which is to do with the whole uh surface and terrain etc the team are going to look at all those things, uh, whether they can be utilized uh, better than what we've already got implemented. But again, it's no promise that those are going to come. Um, it's something that the team are very, very mindful that if they don't give a better option um, in terms of performance, then we're not going to use them. If they do, then possibly we'd have to look at it. Um, but overall, the, we, we do see the, the update to Unreal Engine 5 as a massive step in a forward thinking direction because not only for every space two but anything beyond that uh but just overall just to hammer home the point for everyone it is about maintainability and a maintenance upgrade for the engine and the game so if we can bring good things to uh to the table then we will but again there's there's no promises on that score fantastic response and to add just a little bit more to it um there is a question from the camper x which was wondering if there was going to be a difference that was noticed once we move over to unreal engine 5 and much as you've answered the question quite uh, directly there um, even though there are opportunities that we may or may not take um, it's pretty clear that we want to be keeping the game very similar to, if not exactly, to where it was at from Unreal Engine 4 as we move into Unreal Engine 5. If we are taking any of those directions, just reiterating what Gary said here a little bit, if we're taking any of those directions, it is to be for your benefit, okay? We don't want to go super crazy with all of this experimental stuff that we have opportunities with. This is for maintaining the game, and making it the best experience it can possibly be while also still being serviced accordingly. Absolutely, yes, indeed. So the <laughs> next questions mm -hmm. coming around are focused around uh, what it looks like once Unreal Engine 5 is going to get into the hands of the players. So Slorene Tetson asks, will this require a full download of the game with the spring update? Hopefully, um... It won't require much of a difference. Um, we'll have more news on what that's going to look like uh, as soon as we get closer to that time of delivery to you boys and girls. Now, obviously, we work on the dev build. That gets updated uh, quite regular, um, but that's obviously a separate build. Hopefully, uh, the team will be able to tell us more of that towards the, the, like I said, the release, because we won't want to say, no, you won't need to update massively or not. You won't need to, we don't have those technical details to hand as yet. But as always, as soon as we know, then we will let you know, because, you know, we want to get the information in your hands because then you're informed and then you're aware. If we held it back and then all of a sudden you've got a, you know, 30 gig download to do you'd be like oh why didn't you tell us this was going to happen because we are aware that some people are on slower connections maybe have any kind of limits to their monthly downloads so we, we'll see we'll, as soon as we let them know then you know uh, we will do uh, in due course great response next question also kind of on a similar level comes from Deshra on twitch it's Grind87 on YouTube, Turtle on Twitch, and Slorene Tetson again from YouTube asking about, what about the system requirements? Is this gonna change? Is it gonna be like wildly different? Hopefully not. That's, that's the aim for the team. Um, again, we've got extensive testing to be done. Um, we want to basically keep the game as similar in terms of performance as it is now. If we can improve it, that's even better, you know, because that's the aim as well. 
Um, but we just don't know yet. We're in the very, very early stages of um, the work uh, on the game uh, in terms of the updates. So fingers crossed uh, it will be the same. Um, but again, it's one of those things that will have uh, more information closer to the release. Again, hopefully sometime later uh, in the spring of this year. So yes, we've just got to wait and see. We, sh we shall let you know. We shall let you know. Good, good. Great to hear that we'll have more information to share once we have more information to share. <laughs> Indeed. So good. All right, so a couple of uh, more unique questions, mm -hmm. which I appreciate. We've got one from Late Volley on Twitch who asks, Gary, does Hive approve of the Unreal Engine 5 migration? <laughs> I would probably expect, to be fair, that he's probably very sarcastic about it because he likes to be uh, updated to the latest, but obviously we know that Adam intervened and said, don't, don't update, no, no. We don't want you to be on the latest Eterna system. And he's like, why? Why would I not be? Uh, so, yeah, probably a bit of a mixed bag with uh, with Hive. But I think he, he would probably approve greatly in the end because, you know, if, if it makes him run better, makes him look better, why not? Why not? <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> awesome. Stevie D from YouTube. Are there any plans to add a pilot model to each craft while in cockpit view? Ooh, that's a very good question. I don't think in cockpit view because, it, I mean, we do have a model yeah, in the actual... No. But yeah, <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah, <laughs> um, we do have a model. When you can look into the ship, you will see uh, a model of of the pilot there. But obviously, in you know cockpit view, in kind of the first person view, then no, you don't see that. It's a lot of work to model um, a movable uh, pilot as such. You know where you'd see the limbs and it would articulate on the controls, etc. So probably not, as as Eric says. Uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of work, and we don't see the potential value in doing that. So <laughs> solid. Yeah. Um, okay. So two more two questions that uh, I'm going to kind of wrap up into one. We've got okay. Jahoon Cross on YouTube and De Sylvian uh, from I didn't write. I think they're on YouTube yep. as well. They both are asking about um, new opportunities from Unreal Engine 5, mm -hmm. one of which being, for example, HDR, another mm -hmm. one being uh, any elements pertaining to HOTAS support. Okay. Um, I think that kind of falls back to a similar question uh, answer yeah. that I gave a little bit earlier. If we can and uh, uh, we're able to, then we would look at that as an opportunity. Um, we can't say for definite, yes, uh, you know now because literally we're starting work on the engine update if we're able to and we get value from it and we know that the players will get value from it then you know we would try to do it but please it's not a guarantee i don't want anybody to misconstrue that and say yes they're gonna do it uh, as always if we can and we are able to then we would like to then we would but there's no guarantees on that so maybe um but yes we'll have to wait and see wait and see Turns out that migrating an engine has a lot of moving parts. <laughs> oh, so yeah. just as we are reconfiguring everything, we ask for your patience as we figure out um, fully what that's going to look like for all of you as well. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, as Gary is preaching, mm -hmm. as soon as we have more information to share on this front, we will share that. Mm -hmm. um, but for the expectation as a whole, we want to keep the game in the exact same capacity that it was before to when it's through this migration process. So that's the general mm -hmm. general rule of thumb here. The last question I have for yep. you all is Vavi X over on YouTube asking about if we will be adding the Ukrainian language. Uh, I'd have to probably refer to the team on that one, but we do have an option for players to uh, give additional um, translation support. Um, if you go onto our Discord, I'm sure we may have that in the FAQ somewhere. If not, we can get it added. Um, languages can be very, very difficult to add because there is a lot of translation work to, to do to that. And it does mean, you know, usually paying an Excel company to do that. So it's probably a no, but um, if there was enough, you know, people requiring something uh, added, then we could look at it, for example. But again, it's not a guarantee that that would uh, that would uh, all of a sudden appear in the game. But it, there's always the possibility, depending upon the uh, the responses that we get. But we do listen, and I think this is what me and Eric uh, do like to preach as well. 
Um, you may not get a direct response from uh, either myself or Eric or some of the other development team when you put these suggestions forward, but we do read them. We do like to take note of them. We do like to collate the evidence every month for the hot topics and things like that that we kind of need to, you know, relay to the rest of the team and say, look, this is what the players are talking about. You know, um, can we consider it? So, you, like I said, you might not get a response, but we are listening to everything that you put across all our discussions, whether it's Discord, Steam, uh, social media, wherever it is, we do listen, we do read, and uh, we do take note. So, yeah, we shall see. Yeah, and just one more addition to that. Um, in regards to uh, localization, uh, I was a little bit a part of this um, last year and trying to... In, seeing how the processes came together. And I will say just based on how this process comes together, just adding one new language to the game is a rather timely and costly endeavor for us. So we are using Crowden right now for all of the active languages that we have for individuals. If they're catching any sort of um, errors within them, you can mm -hmm. report them to us directly and we can tidy those up. Um, we do not have Crowden available for you guys to just jump into and add whatever language you want though. It, that, that is not how mm -hmm. the service works. We did not design it like that. So for any requests of new languages, they are very much gonna be on a per basis uh, categorization for us um, and I really want to make sure that everybody knows it is not likely at all for us to add more languages at this time. Thank you for your understanding. Excellent. Excellent. Right, is that the last question? That is the last question. Fly on, pilot. Excellent. Excellent. Right, because we're uh, talking about Unreal Engine 5, I've got a, a few screenshots just to show you from the uh, uh, the blog. Uh, some of you may not have seen it, some of you may not have, have read it. So just before I restart uh, my playthrough after that impending death, um, we're just going to talk a little bit more about uh, Unreal Engine 5 and the things that we're seeing, uh, or the team is certainly seeing when they're uh, doing the migration. And now some people think, oh, it should be an easy step to go from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. It's just pressing a few buttons. It, it definitely isn't. We've had so many issues in terms of um you know things in the wrong place things have moved ui has shifted we've had a variety of things i'm just going to show you a couple of screenshots uh, that you're going to see on screen now now some people love this effect i think it's uh, a, a, an absolutely wonderful uh, thing with the the tron like kind of lighting but this is not how it's supposed to go <laughs> let's be fair it's it's definitely not how it's supposed to go um, some people have requested it as an alternative mode. Obviously, we do hear you. It's probably not going to happen, but we think it's fun anyway. We do like it. But yeah, these are the kind of things that need to be fixed. Um, we know that they are not um, something that we need to leave in the game. Uh, and then we need to figure out what's causing it. And then the, the guys uh, in Hamburg need to then fix those issues. So you can see it's find the problem and the cause of the problem and then fix it and again it'd be wonderful if you could just go right there we go into unreal engine 5 yay it all works it, sadly it doesn't work like that so this is one of uh, one of a couple of instances of things that have uh, have gone wrong another thing there we go you shoot from one place and yeah laser beams come out of another as well and it, i mean this, this it shouldn't happen but you know it does and then it, again it, it all rolls back to why did it happen what do we need to fix it you know and can we make sure that it doesn't happen again because you know things break you know bugs do get introduced um but you know we'll do our due diligence uh, across the board to make sure that these things uh, are fixed and sorted uh, and tested um but you know bugs do happen and you know it, game development isn't easy if it was everybody would be doing it you know, let's be fair. Uh, and the guys are very, very talented. They've worked with Unreal Engine for a long, long time. So it'll just take a little bit of a while to get these things fixed up. Uh, one of the screenshot. Hang on, that one. There we go. Um, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> the pipe work shouldn't really have a glow around it. You know, it shouldn't be highlighted. Uh, we usually see things like that in the editor uh, as such because that highlights the actual thing. But yeah, it sneaked into the, the build. So yeah. Things like that are not what uh, what we want to see. Uh, and it does take a time and it's meticulously going through. You know, these things could be missed in, in this kind of environment. You would see it and be like, whoa, hang on. Why is that, you know, got the glow around it? You know, so it is going to take a while. So just please be patient. Now, 
obviously for the the maintainability side of uh, unreal engine 5 you know it means that we can uh, hopefully look after everspace 2 for a, a lot longer by being on the more modern engine but where does that leave us in terms of what's coming uh, in this year? So I'm just going to show you another little slide. And here we are. And this is obviously our part of our roadmap, okay, for, for the year, okay? Now, winter 2023, yes, we are kind of in 2024, but this is a kind of crossover of this period from the end of last year into the new year. So the Art of Everspace 2, I'm sure some of you have seen uh, the physical art books that we've been sending out to our backers. Um, some people have requested can we buy them yes you will be able to buy them however um they're making their way to the various outlets so as soon as again we have details on when you can purchase them we will let you know um again uh we want you to get your little mitts on those books because they are fabulous looking uh my copy is marvelous it's a pride of place side of me as well and uh, you do like to look at these things you know the guys did a wonderful soon very yes rfg lee soon we need a little trademark on that as well so uh, but moving on whilst all the work for unreal engine 5 is being done by the team back in hamburg you will see that we've got another free update coming your way later uh, in the year okay it's around springtime it's very vague because we know that dates can shift problems could be here you know as soon as we have a date we will let you know so uh, at, at some point it will carry on uh, so what have we got? We've got Incursions. That is going to be the name of the free update. Um, you may have seen a tiny little bit of it from the last stream where Eric did just give you a little glimpse there. Just a little glimpse uh, of what that may entail. We've got new legendaries coming as well, as well as front and engine ship modules. So they're coming in. Uh, revamp to the end game. Mm. Again, nothing we can show you yet. So... Uh, those will be coming much further down the line and then obviously plenty of bug fixes and more on top of obviously the work that we're doing to unreal engine 5 so uh, it's a busy time it might not look like we're doing a lot but a lot is going on in the background and uh, we thank you very much for your patience uh, and we you know we wouldn't be endeavoring to do this work if we didn't think it was worthwhile for not only us but for you guys as well so uh, do stick with us um and hopefully we'll bring some nice things to you uh, this year so we shall see we shall see but let's fly on after that let's just remove that yes that pesky outlaw drone we need to um, <clears throat> i didn't think i was going to struggle a little bit here i'm only level four and they're level six and <laughs> right there we go Aim for a component oh hello hello we'll put that there oh that saved it right under there yeah okay right Ooh, mainframe component. There we go. So we've got uh, an expansion point. We've got three of those now. Now, I'm going to defer to Eric for this uh, as, a, as a little question. Uh, playing a striker, oh. what is a good attribute to start putting the points into? Oh, my goodness. That's, that's a fantastic question, honestly. And the striker, um, in general, this <laughs> is a fighter craft that is designed to get up in the face of your enemies. So uh, mid game, I would say that it's a pretty good direction to go to mm -hmm. stabilize your build with resistance. Okay. And um, I know I know it sounds kind of strange. A lot of people are like, what? Why would you ever go defensive? <laughs> you always want to go firepower, just more damage because you kill them faster. They can't do damage to you. Well, yes, this is true. But the striker does have some inherent benefits to uh, it already whenever it's getting in close quarter combat through its passives um, that help it take that advantage in its defensive capabilities. So I always like to take whatever a benefit a ship has and elevate that further and as opposed to just go one particular direction that could also work, yes, but is generally not paired with the style of play of the ship. So my mm -hmm. recommendation in a space like this would either be structure, utility, or resistance. I might recommend resistance. It's not going to matter too much being at the low level of four, but mm -hmm. as you're moving into mid game, that will matter a bit more. There we go. Some sage advice from Eric there. So he, he know he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. So yeah, we will put a point into resistance. Uh, do you know it would have been funny to actually hear Eric say all that and then just put something into firepower and just go, "No, I'm not listening to you." <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> right. So let's 
try and find things. And oh, hang on, we've got some stuff there. Let's grab that. Some scrap metal. What we can actually do is get rid of that. Thank you. Is just to head over here. I can always blame all my deaths on it being the Unreal Engine uh, update, you know, on the dev build, and you know, it's it's a bit wonky, and you know, all that kind of. <laughs> right. Let's just speak to the Flying Duchess. Uh, keep those questions coming in. I'm sure you've got many, many more regarding what we've shown, what we've talked about, etc. Uh, but yeah, if uh, if there's anything we can't answer, we can always follow up on the Discord. You can always ask the questions in uh, in our support channel. Uh, you can put it in the question there. Right, let's see what the lovely lady's got. So, the corrosion injector, tuned energy core. So, a possibility, what have we got at the moment? We've got a three. Okay, I might need to... Hmm, hopefully come back actually once I've actually increased my level. If I can get through there, that is. If I can get through. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Look, we can sell that. We can sell these for credit. Bit of that. Blaster. See, that's only a two. That's not really helping us, is it? I do like the auto cannon. I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the blaster. We may just take off the calibrated coil for the time being because I just don't think it's doing us any favours. So between the beam laser and the blaster, we'll have to try and get up close and personal. What we may do is just have a little look at the ship. We've got the EMP and we've got the energised boost. Um, yeah... Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. I think the energized boost is good to get out of dodge if we need to. So let's see if we can find it and not die. <laughs> now we need to try and find that beacon again. There it is. Right. There was another group over there. That Viper. Level six. Get in. If we do find it too tough, uh, as always, there's a variety of options that you can do with the game. You could either lower the level difficulty, the difficulty level down to something more suitable if you find that you're getting a bit overwhelmed, or you could go off and just get that a little bit stronger. There is that option. You can get out of here, go earn some more credits, earn the level, etc. Missiles, you can go down. There we go. But even then, you'll need to blow the whole thing up to be certain. All right. This one looks promising. All right. Okay. We do need to get rid of him, though, don't we? Flying off that way. I'm just going to give myself some room. Give myself a bit of breathing space because I don't want to get swarmed and overwhelmed. And if you do need to back off, that's a perfectly good tactic. So there's more turrets and missiles. They're still staying over there, which is good. It's a very good tactic, even for Everspace One, is to just evaluate before you go into the fight. Um, you know, if you boys and girls that have been playing Everspace One, if you're familiar with it. Uh, when you dive into a sector, it can be all a little bit, you know, overwhelming because you're thinking, where do I need to go? Where do I need to head? And, and you know, all of a sudden you can be uh, struggling. Can you just not do that, please? Thank you. Right, okay, the friends are coming in, aren't they? They're going to be saying hello in a second, so let's just back off. Now, Lord Run. Send a rocket at him. There we go. Another one. We got the lock. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Viper is not what I want in my face at the moment. There we go. Yay, player perks. So every five levels, a set of new player perks get unlocked. So we can get to choose that. And you give me a bit of corrosion, which is nice. Let's just grab those. Well, hello. I can't have any of this moment's peace. Right. So another blood star protects uh, Prospector rather has just come along. Right, let's just head down here. Yeah, we will probably find that some of our gear is now a little bit outdated, but still of eight, still of eight. Wow, I got obliterated again. <sighs> I'm going to blame my aim. Blame my aim that time. Let's get that back in. It happens. It does. At least it wasn't a mine. <laughs> yeah, that'd be embarrassing. Not like we've ever done that'd that be before. The worst. <laughs> oh, no, of course not. Dodge in a way. He got There we go. Much better. There we go. Nice. See what we can do now. With all bases, everything kind of starts to respawn after a little while, so yeah, it is a problem. Let's get this base. Oh, Ooh, hello. Put that asteroid there. Wasn't a good idea. I can do this. Yeah. I've got this. Damn. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's showing me another death. Yeah, baby frog. It is proving problematic. I think my gear may need what we uh call in the trade a bit of an upgrade. <laughs> Let's just see. I understand the struggle. There we go. That struggle is real. Well. As some of the chatters just wanted to read off, there is a uh, a comment from Gordon Holland who said, I found out that mines can destroy bases quite fast. So when I did mm -hmm. this mission chain, I used those and beat it quite easily. Just a just a little point from a, from a fellow viewer. Ooh. And I have to agree, mines are pretty powerful when it comes to clustered up enemies yep. and bases generally have them mm -hmm. that was an arc 9000 that works <laughs> don't go well right, let's just check this that was slightly above my level Keep jumping in.
Alright, let's hopefully. Ow. I think every time I go past, they're just that spawning just there, which is causing me an issue. Oh, now two others have jumped in as well. Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do is I think we need to do as I recommended get out of dodge, get repaired, come back, sort that one out with a bit more gear, hopefully. Now, right then, so where? We've got the Flying Duchess if we go back there. It's got a Union Bridge. Let's see what he's got at the trading place. Let's go see. Let's go see. There's never a problem if you need to get out of there. Can someone tell you? No, we, we don't use ults here, Lay Volley. We never use ults. You should know these things by now. <laughs> uh, and yeah, to Top Max to Bearded Frog for uh, his um, keyboard setup that he showed us over on uh, on a Discord with an absolutely huge G key right in the middle of, uh, of the keyboard for some people to use. I'm not entirely sure who. You know, maybe just myself and Eric, you know. <laughs> there's, there's always good fun in dying run away is a valid option valid option so, um, yeah we'll get to Union Bridge and then we may have some more questions we may have more see what we can buy see what we can purchase see what we can upgrade here to make us a little bit less dying there we go. Sit over there. I, I have a quick question. Ooh. Um, what is the first letter of your name? <laughs> it's, a, it's a G, funny enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I is, just, yeah. I, 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 I never remember this. I was just writing a note, and I just, <laughs> I just needed to know how to... That's that's a completely coincidental to anything else. <laughs> hey, I, I'm fair game today, because normally I'm, I'm having the little sarcastic quick so when uh, when I'm on comms with with Eric, so I'll, I'll give it, I'll give him his chance. I'll give him his chance. It's always good to get you on back from time to time. <laughs> uh, I feel like my ship's made of aluminium. That's my excuse. <clears throat> right. Okay. Energy socket and a secure container. I wonder where one of those could be. Let's just see what we can buy. If there's anything here, hopefully, we shall see. We shall see. Right. Um, yeah, so we did upgrade that part of the Blood Star, which is good. <clears throat> nice little bonus. Plating, have we got any plating? Oh, yeah, cruise boost. Um, it is an upgrade. I will take it. We'll swap, see. We'll, we'll sell that off. Uh, the boost, that's okay. That's that's worthwhile. Enough credits for this. We'll get enough credits for this. <clears throat> Buy and sell. Again, there's these little things that can give us a, a little bit of a boost. Uh, shield. Again, it's a, it's a little bit of a boost. So I, I'll take it. I'll take it. And we'll, we'll sell everything else on there. Teleporter. Now, we do like the teleporter. <clears throat> it is one of my favorite devices. Well, I am going to use uh, get that. I'm going to grab it. And then we're going to stick it on our ship. Straight away, we're going to swap it out for the Energized Boost. Because that is quite handy. And I'm going to use it as a, an upgrade as well. So I'm going to use my upgrade point on that. We shall do a little bit of a repair. Yes. And a little bit of a restock. Let's check out our perks. <clears throat> now, I get this funny feeling that um, <clears throat> with the way that I'm dying at the moment, close call might be a good option. <laughs> Uh, a close call does instead of taking lethal damage a shield deploys that grants invisibility and lasts for 10 seconds uh, the ship must be docked to make the shield available again after use that could be quite handy in in that specific area that i need to go where i keep dying and you know and then i could always scoot off to to get to uh um to meet our helpful lady at the duchess uh that could be quite useful so we'll, we'll we'll stick with that i think we'll go we'll go for an activate on the close call uh, a lot of people may choose something different um in terms of like defensive massacre but for me currently uh, i'm just going with it as uh, as as necessary which is close call so eric do we have any more questions lined up 
I've got just a couple of them. Oh. I got some good questions that came out of them, so I'm very appreciative of that. The first one we have comes from Wizard Jerry over on YouTube, who is an absolute legend at this <laughs> oh, game, yes. for the record. Yeah, sorry, uh, Wizard fantastic. Jerry. I feel like I'm letting the side down a little bit here. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's great. So his question is very simple, but a great question. It is, can we continue with our save game after this migration? Yes. Absolutely, yes. Uh, I know there'll probably be a fear from some quarters like, oh no, you know, we're going to have a game save wipe. No, no. You're just going to be carrying on uh, with your save game as normal. It won't be affecting those whatsoever. Um, so yeah, just uh, don't fret. Uh, don't worry on that score. You'll be able to continue your saves wherever you are uh, up to, whether you're grinding the rifts or whether you're part of the way through the story. You're just going to carry on as normal. So yeah, don't, don't, don't fear. Uh, we're not going to get rid of anything on that score. Wonderful. Next question comes from Gordon Holland over on YouTube mm -hmm. and asks, uh, you know, a playful question, but a great question nonetheless. Will there be any new categories of devices? We already have warfare and support, but maybe a third. That'd be nice to have, wouldn't it? We'll have to wait and see. I have to wait and see. I know it's vague. Uh, we're always like to be vague. Until we've got some concrete information, we try not to get your hopes up in case it doesn't happen or if, you know, we like to tease you and reveal things. Uh, but yeah, as soon as, again, one of those, uh, as soon as we have some information on that, whether it's a good or a bad, positive or negative, then we'll let you know. So uh, yeah, at the moment, nothing to say on that score. So um, I have a follow-up question to that, Gary. Um, you know, I... I, I heard that there's supposed to be like a, a free update this year. Could you at least tell me a little bit more about like maybe when that's going to happen and what that's focused on? Really? We've got a free update coming? Uh, I know. It's crazy. I think so anyway. Can yes. you tell me more? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yes, we do. Uh, you'll have just probably seen it. For those of you who didn't, I shall just bring the graphic back up. Uh, just down here. Oh, this side, this side, down here, uh, we've got a free update called Incursions coming uh, sometime in the spring. Okay. Springs are very obviously uh a few months so uh, no specific date but we're going to see new legendaries we're going to see front and uh engine ship modules as well uh revamped end game content and bug fixes and many more as i mentioned before it is a free update it's not going to cost you anything uh further out we've got a dlc uh in the works but that's you know we're not talking about anything on that score just yet um but yeah this uh, incursions will be coming out sometime in the spring um hopefully with the uh, update to Unreal Engine 5 as well. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Lots happening. Again, as I said, a lot going on behind the scenes. You might think that we're not doing a great deal, but we are, trust us, we are doing a lot. Uh, there's a lot to bring to the table, and uh, hopefully you can uh, all join us in the spring for stuff. Stuff. Thank you for that added information. Wow, that is incredibly exciting for more content coming to Everspace 2 this spring. Don't miss it. Next question comes from Late Volley over on Twitch. They ask, what's one thing for Everspace 2 that is made possible by Unreal Engine 5 that wasn't possible in Unreal Engine 4? I do know that this is a rather difficult question for us to answer. Mm. Um, I think we've also kind of answered this um, already. So if you want to kind of expand on that. Yeah, I mean, looking at what Unreal Engine 5 could possibly bring to the table is something that the team are definitely looking at. Um, I mean, people have, have, have mentioned, we've seen it in the comments, about Lumen and about Nanite uh, technologies that are, are within Unreal Engine 5. Um, the team are not discounting them. They're, they're looking at their feasibility, but it has to be whether... Um, something like that will give us a benefit to the game. You know, is it better than what we've already got? Is it worth time developing uh, for those uh, technologies? Or, you know, is it a necessity? And you've kind of got to base those needs on many, many factors that they do um, uh, need to look at behind the team. And trust us, the team will do a very, very good job at deciding what is best for the game going forward. And obviously the overarching move to Unreal Engine 5 is one of those such moves because they feel it's a necessity. With Unreal Engine 4 being the old engine and Epic now focusing on Unreal Engine 5, then it's a smart move. And, you know, luckily we've got the time currently to, to make that happen. So, uh, yeah. We will look at all the fancy tools that are available. Uh, we'll, whether we'll utilize them is uncertain, is uncertain, but we shall see, we shall see. So, uh, yeah. 
Excellent. Um, the last question, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to answer this one. Cool. Uh, it comes from Chatawi um, over on Twitch, and he asks, are you guys upgrading straight to 5.3? Um, Chatawi, I know that you are a techie and you've done some pretty cool mod stuff for <laughs> Everspace 2 already, which was fantastic. If nobody knows what I'm talking about, uh, you need to join the Discord because holy cow, there's some fun stuff and shenanigans day, day, day. that can happen. Um, but uh, Chatawi, I could give you a more direct response on that, um, maybe sometime next week, because I do not know the direct answer, nor if there is a reason uh, if we would be going that route or a, a, a different uh, version, or if that has anything to do with why we're making that decision. So I can follow up and give you more clarity. Thank you for your patience on it. Um, a very curious techie question. I love it. Ah, uh, Ingmar over on Twitch has just dived straight in and answered that for you. Yes, we're going to 5.3.2. So, Perfect. Thank you, Ingmar. Save, thank you, save Ingmar. me some trouble. Love it, <laughs> yeah. Ingmar. What a wonderful chap. Swoops in. Ingmar. Saves so, a day. There we go. Thanks, Ingmar. Much appreciated. <laughs> Excellent. Right, let's have a little look, see if we've got anything else that we can... Uh, Pesky Husky says I forgot his question. Ooh, uh, hang oh, on a second. I no. need to... Uh, let me let me see if I missed something <laughs> or if this is just a troll. Uh, it's the famous firewall. I, I normally have a firewall that uh, <laughs> that gets raised from time to time. So I, I'm not seeing any valid questions. <laughs> so I think we can fly on. Besky Husky, if you did sincerely ask a question that we missed, please go ahead and ask it again. Yep. Um, Otherwise, it looks like you're just having fun in the chat, and that's great. It's it's beautiful. You guys keep having fun, and we will keep answering questions as we can. Excellent, excellent. Cool. Good to see. Good to see. Right. So let's see. I think that was everything that we were going to purchase here. Um, we'll break that down. Uh, we'll dismantle it just so we can start the blueprint process on that sensor. Oh, actually, it's. Yeah, less firepower, so we'll break that one down. We'll keep that energy injector. Yeah, we'll keep them. That energy core, we'll just sell because we don't need that. Here we go. We've got a pulse laser ready uh, for when we get to level six, hopefully, without dying too often. Yes, dying too often. All right, right, let's. Oh. Oh, I see his question. I found it. Okay. He okay. was he, he was wondering, and I, I don't know if you have the, the concept art on hand or not, but his question was pertaining to um, Elix windswept wings on his vessel. Oh. Uh, he was wanting to know a little bit more about those. Ooh, cool. Cool. I know I've got it here. I know it's reversed because my camera's reversed, but I do have the art book to hand, and I'm not too sure if it was actually in, in there or not. It probably is somewhere but i don't know the background i mean that the the artwork is is phenomenal from the team to be fair um if you do manage to get your hands on uh, on the art book uh in um now it is probably reversed but i think that's the image that you are referring to um it looks very much like a, a kind of a mustang um fighter plane from world war ii the very that's the one dub nose yeah yeah yeah. And actually, you're correct in its inspiration. It did take inspiration from, uh, I, I believe, World War I. Um, I can get a, additional clarity from Uva and Matthias on that. Actually, I don't think Matthias worked on that. No. Or maybe he did. <laughs> Regardless, uh, there's been a lot of inspiration from a lot of war planes uh, within Everspace 2. That's probably uh, apparent, but if it's not, well, there you go. There's some more information. We do like um, military designs, and uh, there's a slew of them that have entered into Everspace 2. <laughs> cool, cool. Very, very nice. Yeah, I know it's reversed, like I said, and the camera is, is, is flipped. Um, but this uh, is the physical art book. You can see it's a chunky boy. Um, it is going to be available soon, um, trademark. Uh, as soon as we have details on when this is going to be available to purchase, we will put it up um, in a blog, in a notification for you all. Uh, it is worthwhile having. I'm not just saying that because I've worked on, work on the team, but it is a phenomenal art book. You've got to remember this was originally supposed to be 52 pages. And then uh, over time, we decided, no, what the hell, let's go. 280 pages of absolutely stunning shots and background about the game. So very worthwhile uh, grabbing if you can. 
So let's uh, let's continue our journey of dying to uh, drones. <laughs> let's just kill some people. There we go. I feel a bit stronger here. Mind you, these are oh, madcaps. I would love these. They always tend to kill me. Let's just get. I on wanted it. to. I wanted to mention that I am incredibly excited to take one of our art books and set it down on a table and watch the table crumble underneath <laughs> it because of how meaty that thing is. Goodness gravy! You could build a house that's that strong. <laughs> Right, so let's head back then to the Siren C where we before. So let's just dive over there before I get shot by anything. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find the energy dispenser I've just remembered. Let's get some resources here as well. Collect those resources. Collect, collect, collect. Always good. Right, you are down underneath, aren't you? Let's go find you. Not to bash into anything. There we go. Right, energy dispenser. Come on, give me the thing. Give me the thing. Bloop. There we go. Right. Let's head back. Bloop. There we go. 18 seconds. Cool. Oh, not going to bash into anything. There we go. Right, so... Bash into anything, he says. There's plating. I just bought some plating. How rude. <laughs> right. So we'll probably put that on. It's always a nice upgrade. You'll definitely be putting that on. Uh, we'll keep that. We'll, we'll actually, we'll break it down. We'll dismantle it. We'll just put it for something. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Right. Let's dive out of there. So we've upgraded our things. Hopefully we could not die. Always good. So keep those questions coming. Uh, we're going to be having a look at a little bit uh, at some more questions, but also screenshots that we've had over the festive period. Uh, there's been absolutely crackers uh, that we've dragged in from uh, Discord and on Steam as well. I found some on Steam, which are all very, very nice. Uh, so we do check everywhere, not only on social media, uh, Facebook, if anybody posting on there, Twitter. Uh, sometimes we get things over on Instagram as well. If you do have any wonderful um, screenshots to share with us, Join the Discord, get them posted up in there or on the Steam if you've taken some great in-shots. We, we do look. I do have a nice little look. Uh, Gordon Holland, uh, is the art book exclusive to backers? It was something that was exclusive to backers, but we've got an extra production run on those. So we have a few more available, which are going to be available uh, for people to purchase who weren't part of the Kickstarter. Soon, TM. Yeah, soon, TM, yes. <laughs> Yeah, everything we say has soon TM attached to it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just about. Yeah. Hello, friends. What's that already? Overseer, you're not very nice, are you? Boom. Yeah, just to just to respond to Gordon Hall, and he says, "Oh, sweet. So I haven't missed my opportunity. The moment we have the ability." to get these into the hands of folks who would like to purchase them, you will know because we are going to spread the news so Indeed. that you can them. So I would be very surprised if you missed it at the same time. You don't want to miss it because, uh, you know, it's it's only going to be for however long we have supplies for, so. Definitely, definitely worthwhile purchase. Definitely worthwhile purchase. And so, I know all sorts of stuff. It's a good thing to come back here. And more stuff. Right, so we need to uh, just regen some more energy. I'm firing through my energy very, very quickly. Lots of boosting, lots of boosting. If you do have any uh, tips and tricks and builds for uh, other players, including myself, uh, do put them up in the Discord. We do like to see what uh, what you're flying. And obviously, Jerry, he's done a, a few of his exceptional builds for clearing everything in the game, you know. And uh, yeah, quite phenomenal. Um, Obviously, you've got to have some skill uh, alongside that as well. Not necessarily what I've got, <laughs> but certainly it does help. It does help. Really? Really? Can I have a moment's peace? Oh, hello. That was a nice little explosion. <coughs> Uh, 
Yo, Ooh, hello you, Proto Scout. Blowing things up. If we have to, we get out of dodge as well. Other things are company. spawning in, as they do. Just going to give myself a little bit of room before they come and hassle me. Bedroom. Whoever invented these things. Indeed. Where is it? There. They are awful. Indeed. I need to just survive long enough. Otherwise, I'm in the doo doo. I'm not too sure. No, I just. Perfect timing of the death again. Wow. That's called cheating. Indeed, Bearded Frog. I need to. I need to. <laughs> you need shields. You never need shields. Almost seems like your armor is made out of aluminium or yeah. something. <laughs> I see what you did there. There we go. All right, ship module. Here we get a rear six. Calibrated scattergun. I know this is one of your favourites as well, the scattergun. Uh, never been a fan, but it may work on this with needing to be up close and personal. We need two fuel tanks, 11 coils, a couple of turrets. That turret, I just, you know, every time I take it down and then it's just the respawns that are getting me. They're just. They don't like me being here. That was a drone set. Very, very close. Right around the side. Wow. Let's do this. They just popped in as well. I'm going to say that the, uh, the Unreal Engine 5 update has put everything to nightmare mode. <clears throat> it's a bug we need to fix. <laughs> A word to that. Yeah. I see some comments over on um, YouTube, is what it's called, uh, <laughs> talking about how the early game uh, is a little bit of a struggle. And I wanted to comment on this just as, you know, you're, you're championing things the best way you can. Um, in the balance of Everspace 2 and the progression thereof, we did take notes on how the early game is actually not as bad as the mid game 
The mid game is actually the hardest state of the game when it comes to sheer balance. And believe it or not, the end game, as you go through the mid game and into the end game, it starts getting a little bit easier again. So um, this is something we've looked at to, and have had conversations about from a development standpoint. Um, and while there aren't any plans of like, especially any types of overhauls, we are keeping in mind the satisfaction that you guys have as players as you're building yourself up uh, into that mid game, learning about most of the systems and then expressing yourselves with these beautiful builds into that late game experience um, and if there's any way that we can heighten that even more by tweaking anything on the balancing side uh, we may take that dive and adjust some elements excellent always good news i mean never never be afraid i know some people uh in the various discussions on steam that i've, I've been involved in etc people do find sometimes normal is too easy so there's the option to ramp up the difficulty which is you know a, a good thing also, some people struggle with normal, which what you know the team consider is a normal level of difficulty. Um, but there's nothing wrong with tweaking the level down, even if it's only temporary. Uh, you can you know push that level down for a little while if you find things are a little bit stressful for you, etc. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, we encourage you to enjoy the game to the maximum. If that means that you tweak the level up or level down, then do it. It's for your own satisfaction not for anybody else you don't need to worry about you know being an, an uber pilot or anything like that i mean i'm dying i could tweak the settings down but i want to challenge myself and it's down to me if i was struggling and i wasn't enjoying it then i would tweak so please don't ever have a fear of tweaking one way or the other uh, it's entirely your playthrough and how you enjoy gaming uh, and that's what we want people to do is enjoy the game Oop. do that one Get that and then that one there we go Blink. and what did we get what did we get what did we get ship module rockets and a mainframe component right. mainframe component just a ticket just a ticket Let's see what we got anything good so we got that down there that's good that's down to there we'll swap those rockets out you know uh, a bit of power I'll keep hold of them temporarily just as spares in case uh so yeah that's that's good at least we managed uh the good thing was i actually went to what i would consider the correct place to start with <laughs> didn't have to go to the others which is good right let's grab that so hello you just do one thank you while i just get out of there thank you let's go to see our lady friend over here and see if she's got anything for us always good always take the opportunity because sometimes you might find there's something that will just help you a little bit more um in terms of devices or weapons uh even your repairs you know if you find that you're a little bit beat up then head back here uh, to various places <clears throat> maybe maybe oh good right let's see what she's got but she did have that i don't think we upgraded anything particular from her did we no, nothing there. Uh, actually, we'll dismantle them. That's nearly. Okay, they're marksman ones. Uh, another little tip. Uh, <clears throat> if you find that you're very close to completing a blueprint, uh, like I've got two of three for a blueprint of the of the rockets. Uh, these are obviously the powerful or the marksman, so they're a slightly different variant. If they have them in a store, you could purchase them and then dismantle them straight away to get the blueprint so just worthwhile obviously you'd be considerate about the money aspect uh, but you do find that you will uh, make quite a bit of money as you uh, travel through the game anyway so uh, yeah uh, keep those questions coming uh, we're going to have um, a few more questions coming up when we just transition to the screenshots uh, i'm just going to kick on a little bit a few more minutes uh, with this storyline and then we shall head uh, into screenshots and further questions because i'm sure more have popped in you pesky plans are for fools yes indeed a certain dak said that
And then out a little bit. And we get more friends coming to say hello. Oop. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to use this. We're going to say, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? You can have a piece of me. There you go. There we go. Right. Strike to signal. Don't come any closer. Ooh. Here we go again. Here we go again. Right. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna head back over here. And we're gonna hide <coughs> behind some big rocks. Get them to come close. <laughs> but yeah, environmental use is definitely worth it. I'll never be shy to hide behind a big rock. It's like we learned that from first-person shooters or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kobo? What's that? Beaky little one. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Don't want that taking... It's <clears throat> be a nice drone and just <clears throat> blow up stuff. Friends are coming in to say hello. They don't like having their base blown up. Oh boy. Hit them bit by bit by bit. Staying over there. So they're there. Probably going to come into contact with us. Pick your battles, folks. Pick your battles. I do like the auto cannon. It's always been one of my faves. shot off there. Oh. Ah. Oh, straight into that big asteroid. Give us a blueprint. Thank you. Thermal gun. That's a very good uh, weapon, especially for those that may struggle with their aim. If you do find that you are struggling at all, uh, the thermal gun is a uh, good uh, balance. It does a decent bit of damage, but obviously all the uh, all the shots do track to your target. Just be careful of what you're actually tracking at the time. <laughs> yeah, you know, hitting friendlies is not advisable. There we go. Let's open the container. But it's oh, it's marvelously good. There we go. Okay, are you coming in to play? Yes, you are. Viper. Don't like you. Get rid of the drone. Boom. There we go. Hey, I didn't die. <coughs> oh, coming along nicely now. Coming along nicely. Ooh, another little mini base. Why is it every time I turn around I'm facing something that wants to kill me? I think the DMZ was a nasty place to be. Ooh, hello. Who uh who put their mines there? <laughs> that would have been funny. 
All right, let's just have a little look. We just picked up a shield. Okay, we'll upgrade to that as well. Uh, okay, we'll just decombobulate that. We've got the thermo gun. Should we require it? Marksman railgun. Okay, not really ideal for this build. Would it be needed to be up close and personal? But yeah, do look out for them red glowy things. <clears throat> a bit, uh, bit of an unhealthy thing to to dive into. Let's just get out of there before anything else comes our way. Right. Dax, anything new on that third distractor? Dax. Hey, Dax went down to the hangar. He said he needed to prepare for something. Hmm. Say, was your friend close to any Ethium when he was injured? Uh, just a bit. Yeah, we were out mining for GNB when his engine caught fire. Why? He got what we call a crystal burn. It's caused by destabilized Ethium and inflicts serious progressive damage to human tissue. The only way to stop it from spreading is to amputate. Oh, <sighs> man. Amputation. I'll use some from the medical <laughs> transport. The procedure will take a few hours. He never deserved any of this. Please be careful. Don't worry, it's what I'm trained for. Well, right, let's get docked back at home base and then we shall transition over to our, our screenshots and question segments. So if you do have any, any questions, get them get them in and Eric's collating them. Yes, anybody that's just joined us, Eric is with us still. Um, he's just feeling a bit poorly. Uh, so he's taking a, a bit of a rest this evening. So uh, I'm hosting and Eric's on the comms with me asking the questions. Well, here is lovely voice. Still. Here is my lovely voice. <laughs> All right, you ready for questions, or I'm just going to get docked, and then we'll be okay. ready. Then we've got the save. Perfect. All Jeez. right, we'll hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right, in we go. There we go. We're docked. Excellent. We're good. You're back. Skip that bit. I have been you? cataloging uh, some great questions that have still been coming in. You guys have been wonderful today. Thank you so much for being awesome per usual. Um, we'll get to uh, a slew of your questions here in just a moment. Right, let's just overwrite that save. There we go. Right, I'm just going to transition over to some screenshots. Give me a moment and I shall be with you for questions and some wonderful arty bits. Back in a moment. There we go. Look at that. Quick, quick. I mean, said I've got to get on with it, so I had to get on with it. Anyway, so there That's we are. right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'll just introduce this first picture, uh, which I'll just make sure is the correct one that I have there. Nope. There we go. And that's the one. Yes. So this one is from Speedy Sam over on our Discord. Uh, it's a wonderful effect. I think he's taking this just as he's going into possibly super light i think he might have just caught it just perfectly as he's leaving prescott um very intriguing ring of color around in there with prescott in the background but it is a very nice screenshot to to kick off so uh, well done to speedy sam we've got a few from him as well and a few of the other legends that keep popping in with our great screenshots every week so uh, yeah some wonderful stuff some wonderful stuff so eric hit me with those questions not literally uh, yeah, of course, of course. So this one's going back to the art book really quick, but just wanted to uh, provide the answer to all our folks at home. Uh, Gordon Holland asks on YouTube, how much is the art book? I don't believe we've set the price yet. Um, if we have, I'm unaware of it, but- um, We haven't. No. Uh, as soon as we, again, have the information when it's available, we'll be letting you know the price and everything. Um, it's an excellent thing. I mean, I'm just showing it off. I'm not trying to, you know, entice you with it or anything you know obviously not but yeah there's some there's some wonderful concept art uh, in the book you know all wonderful done by uh, various concept artists in the team a uh, breakdowns of all the various ships and their various tiers um even the gunship one of my favorites obviously and then all the different interiors of various things that we worked on all the different characters all the different cinematics it breaks down so many wonderful things uh, how you see that they develop from concept art onto uh your screens uh from the various team i'll try not to do too many spoilers but uh, it even goes through all the systems as well so you can see all the various stuff on there so definitely worthwhile 280 plus behemoth of a art book 
worthwhile. But as soon as we have details, we'll let you know. Thank you. I'm not on commission, by the way. <laughs> Next question comes from Late Volley over on Twitch. Okay. In a period jam-packed with huge space game releases like Starfield, Elite Dangerous, No Man's Sky, etc., how does it feel to know that you and your team outdid them all? Ooh, that, that's a very bold claim. I mean, some of those games, I mean, um, some people don't like them. Some people think they're great. We have a lot of love for the space genre in, in general, whether it's Elite Dangerous, uh, No Man's Sky, Starfield, Star Citizen. We just love that there's focus on space games. Um, there was a period quite a, a little while ago where it wasn't a, a, a genre that people were producing, but to see so many games focused on uh, expansive worlds outside of our solar system it's it's great because it's not only for us you could say oh but that game's going to overshadow us it actually brings focus to us as well because it's another game within that genre for people to say that they really like our game best out of everything it's uh, a, 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 an amazing feeling to be fair and you know we get the praise on the streams and i'm sure people like ingmar and uva and uh casper and tease and everybody else that works on on the team and i mean there's a plethora of people to hear um the praise that we receive from you guys we do pass it on by the way we do post it up into uh, our internal discussions so we get to see or they get to see what you guys are saying so thank you very much uh for, for the whole team for for what you praise us with and we're very very receptive to that praise and this is why we work so hard and so diligently to produce a very very good game um we think it is anyway some people will disagree but you can't please everybody but that's that's our aim anyway so um uh, thank you very very much from uh, from the bottom of our hearts i feel like this is a, an oscar ceremony or something but yes uh, very much uh, well received thank you very much yeah and just to add to that i mean you, you said tease a number of times i just wanted to elevate tease for a moment um because that man truly has done incredible work on the side of ux and ui design mm -hmm. so that's going to be all the user interface this this man is an absolute legend he's the one who's making it so easy for you to understand just by seeing a symbol on the screen what that does and how that conveys to uh the message that's needed for all other aspects of the game. Like this, this man is is an absolute all-star. So just wanna raise Tease up. Um, he, he's fantastic. And of course, all of our, our team members are great, but I just wanted to, to honor him in particular mm -hmm. in this moment. Um, just the number of conversations I've had with him and, and bringing all this together, it's, it's really good. Um, I also wanted to mention as well, and you kind of touched on this, we are so appreciative of other sci-fi games because they all feed into each other they very all much, much. will it's a it's a callback right and so um you know even even when starfield was coming out um you know at first we were a little hesitant because you know it's like bethesda big title blah 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 like what's this going to look like how's this going to do and a lot of eyes just went over to space games in general right like where where can i get my space game kick and people went to starfield some people loved it some people hated it um and that gave us attention it's it's wonderful it, it truly is a blessing mm -hmm. to be able to work alongside these very big names in some cases uh to keep doing what we love and to produce content that really there isn't a lot of out there space games are a bit of a niche and mm -hmm. we're thankful for the support that you guys have given us to do what we do yeah absolutely absolutely it's, it's a kind of a dream come true for for a lot of people me especially uh to now work in a the games company that produces a space game you know my earliest years of gaming is you know predominantly around the original elite yes you know i was around in 1984 and, and everything and that's that dragged me in you know uh and now to work with uh with rockfish uh or for what rockfish making a game that is so popular we you know it, it's a dream come true so uh absolutely uh we we appreciate your um your input your responses and everything else so uh yeah Hopefully we shall carry on for much longer, much longer. And I shall just switch to the next screenshot, which is from uh, the wonderful XL. Now, if you know XL's work, phenomenal when it comes to uh, galactic photography. Um, that's why he is one of the galactic photographers on our Discord. Um, you can see the effort and the uh, position that he 
puts into his um, his screen captures uh, of the game, um, you have the dramatic effect of the redness of the ship, you know, supplemented by the the, the piercing yellow of the star of the system. Um, and definitely, Pesky, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, absolutely a very, uh, very, very good one. I'll just flick through to the next one, which is again from Excel. Uh, and I think, Eric, you chose this one simply because of the work that he's put in here uh, to try and get that matched up with the looping of that ship perfectly oh, yeah. with the uh, with the um, asteroid belt around the, the planet. I mean, that is some work to do that. That is some work, um, and they've taken time to to create this and show it off. So we're very appreciative of, of even things like this. People might not think, oh, it's screenshots, it's screenshots, but these things do take a lot of work for a lot of people, and we're very, very thankful on that. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's an amazing screenshot. So I'll just transition to the next one. They can fire another question at me. This one's from Speedy Sam again. Love it. So I got a question from Flory over on Twitch. With Everspace 2 evolving and new content in the future, is it likely that there will be uh, Everspace 2 art book 2 and in the realm of only new stuff or rather an even larger version than the one now? This one was answered by Lee, so I'm also going to read this response to so everybody kind of understands. Lee says, we'll see. If we blow through the first printing of the art book and there is still demand, if something it's something we can look at. Depending on the amount of content, we may also consider doing a digital-only version alongside the expansion. It's too early to say, but if we go either of both routes, we'll be sure to shout about it from the rooftops. Wow, that, that would be quite cool. That really would be nice to see if we could do it. But again, um, it's it's an if. It's a big if. You know, we'll, we shall see it, as Lee's quite rightly said there. But, uh, you know... That would be a cool thing to have, you know. We shall see in the future. We never know what it holds, but uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, so this one's from Speedy Sam. Wonderful shot. He's having issues with some uh, Weber drones by the look of it. Um, but yeah, very good perspective um, of that. It's not one that you normally see, but uh, a great shot from him. I'll just transition over to uh, this one's from another one of our galactic photographers, uh, a wonderful talent called the Chemical Bro. Um, that's a very shiny ship, very shiny ship. I'm loving the chrome, and again, just the the detail with the different ship engine colours. Mm, great. And that looks like Nefties as well, uh, or around there anyway. Great place uh, for for your screenshots as well. So, uh, anything else? Anything else? We've got a question from Stig3 on Twitch. What's the biggest thing you guys can promote for early players to return for new content? Ooh. bit of a pointed question but mm, you know yeah well i think we're, we're with our focus on updating to unreal engine 5 we're not abandoning the game um we wouldn't be putting in this work if we didn't feel that there was um a good basis for more content to come in the game um We've obviously got the the update, the free update coming um, in the spring called Incursions. So we're already telling you that that's coming. Um, and you know, people know that there's going to be a premium paid DLC, or uh, sorry, an expansion uh, down the line as well. Um, so yeah, I think it's the, the work that we're putting in now, it just shows that we're planning to stick around. We're not going to be one of those, here's the game, we're done with it. Say, yeah, we've got your money. We don't want to do that. We, we've got a good product here. Everspace 1 was fantastic. Everspace 2 is great. It's fantastic as well. And then we want to build on that. So absolutely, we're not um, we're not disappearing anytime soon. So content to come. What that looks like, you'll have to wait and see. Right. So great work there from Chemical Bro. Next up, flicking back again to the wonderful Excel. He can do wonders uh, in... Uh, composing a great screenshot again i'm loving the colors of the ships with the red and the, the the light blue i think that's is that the sky blue engine color i'm trying to work out what he's got on the thrusters uh uh from the various um drops that you can get uh for the engines which is by doing the challenges uh, as well so uh, great shot there uh, we'll progress on to winged nightmare uh, he loves his collage um, of very nice uh, ships, and he's got his wonderful collection in a variety of places for various angles, and uh, a great collection from Wing Nightmare. Very, very, very nice. Very, very nice. 
Another question do we have? Comes from Stig3 again on Twitch. And the question is, um, uh, do you have an opinion on, hang on a second. I kind of had to translate the question. Okay. Um, so I believe it's asking um, if we have an opinion on how early access um, created hurdles for the game or not. Mm. I think we've always seen early access as a very positive um, because it has allowed us to develop the game in conjunction with our player base, and which isn't a bad thing. Um, you know, some developers won't do it. We see it as a um, a good thing. You know, the input from the community um, has been great all the way through. It's like, oh yeah, we think this is good. We think this is bad, and and you hear that feedback. Yes, sometimes. The, the, I think the downside would be players would potentially think, oh, you haven't listened to me. Um, but we do listen, but we can't always implement everything that is put forward from uh, a player. It might not be just technically possible for the team to do or something like that. So sometimes you have to manage the expectations about what can come from early access. But I think overall, uh, I don't know if Michael was here, he'd probably say the same, is that he would feel that early access is a good tool for a development of a game. Um, I know, Eric, you've been around uh, uh, here a lot longer than I have, and you've seen uh, how we've developed through early access. Uh, so I, I think have seen things. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I think it's uh, it's a good tool for us to um, to work with and, uh, you know, develop the game with the community's help. And that's, you know, something we're also we're very, very thankful of. Uh, it has helped us immensely, immensely. Beautiful. Uh, I shall switch on to the next screenshot. And this one is from Grendel, uh, our wonderful... Um, I think this is one of the cargo drones that appears from time to time um, that you have to chase down, if I remember correctly. They're very distinct. Um, look out for their red trails. And if you can catch up with them and if you can take them down, you may get something decent from them. You'd have to, uh, you'd have to see. So, uh, yeah, very nice shot from Grendel. Uh, another one from XL, and I think this is uh, a brilliant one. It was a very uh, festive themed. I think it just popped in just before uh, we broke up for the Christmas period or just afterwards. And, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> if that doesn't look like a, a Nordic Christmas tree, then I don't know what oh. does. Uh, a great piece of artwork from XL. Again, they do great work, and it does take a good amount of time to compose these get the right colors get the right shape get the perspective right um but you guys can take wonderful screenshots even by just going into photo mode uh with your your z key wherever you are uh perfect perfect um yeah wonderful screenshot so as i transition on to the next one which we'll talk about in a second if you have a question for me eric next question comes from L late volley on twitch Will we ever get to see outside the DMZ, or is Adam forever trapped inside? It would be very telling, wouldn't it? Who knows? Um, we've got a lot planned, um, but that would be for a future. Again, very, very vague. Uh, I think everybody's appreciative, yes. I'm sure you all want to know what's coming. You you want to know because you're interested, and we're very appreciative of that. However, we can't always tell you what's coming because either it hasn't been created or we're not at liberty to say just yet. So who knows? We shall we shall see. Uh, this uh, sorry, this screenshot was from uh, Adam GD over on our Discord. <laughs> now, as you can see, they had a bit of an oopsie, uh, just a small one. Uh, I think they took 11,678,780 and 416 damage to their ship. I don't think any um, shield or aluminium hull would uh, survive that, unfortunately. So uh, I think it was, I think they flew into the uh, uh, the planet of Palemon's wound. <laughs> just, you know, just, just for science, I think it was. And uh, yes, uh, I, I think the planet won, to be fair, on that one. So yeah, he didn't, uh, <laughs> he, he didn't uh, come out of that uh, battle unscathed, unfortunately. He definitely... Um, definitely lost that war so uh, yeah uh, next up is one that we've uh, got from steam uh demonies um over on there uh fabulous shot i thought this one i love the contrast between the red coloration of the ships and then obviously if you know the story of where this was this screenshot was taken then you know the uh, the instance that they're in 
uh, but it's a very, very cool screenshot. Uh, and I like the fact that it's not just straight top down, that it's actually angled at about 45 degrees as well. So it gives a very cool element uh, or um, an emphasis on the speed uh, and there's the area that they're in. Very, very cool shot. Very cool shot. Anything else? Anything else we've got? Last question comes from Sasha H on YouTube. If is there any way to transfer a PC save file to PlayStation 5? Unfortunately on that, no. Um, the only option of any form of transfer between game saves, and that is between the Xbox and the PC Game Pass because they share the save files. It's there in closed system on Xbox. So it's a Game Pass variant. Uh, a play anywhere title which means that the saves are compatible with pc game pass and xbox uh sadly outside of that we can't transfer any form of um, game save between the various uh platforms it's just not possible for us to do that unfortunately so if you are playing through on playstation 5 then that's one singular save and then if you're playing on pc that's going to be a separate uh, singular uh, game save as well so uh, yeah unfortunately not i would like to would like to add one little tidbit to that. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, just for the folks out there, like if you're using good old games, GOG mm -hmm. or Steam, um, and then you wanted to cycle to like PC Game Pass, um, you actually can manually move save files around uh, to do that. But as Gary mentioned, we do not have like cross save compatibility across like all of the different platforms. That is not something that we are in the business of doing. It can get very messy very fast. Um, if you are operating almost exclusively from a PC though, and say like you you got Steam and then you're like, oh man, I want to get this on, on PC Game Pass. Um, poke around the forums a little bit. You'll see that some compu community persons um, have found some uh, little tricks uh, and ways to uh, transfer that over but again it's not uh keeping the saves on both sides you're basically putting it from one to another so we do not have any type of cross save compatibility which i think is the bulk of the question yeah. um just making that very abundantly clear yeah very very much so uh, yeah right next up uh, a great shot from Cruxer over on steam um initially i just thought oh this is just a planet but then you realize that they're using the structure as almost like uh, a holding point for or like it's some kind of globe or some kind of a desktop kind of ornament thing uh that's really really cool shot um i'm trying to actually work out where it's actually taken because it seems to have one of the uh, special bypasses there uh but yeah wonderful shot there from cruxers if you do have any uh, more questions dive in with them because we're over a few minutes out from the end of the stream and uh, you know, want to get them answered if we can uh next up uh, a couple of, uh, of screenshots again from Steam, but this time from Alcaram. Um, I just love the swirling, and then we've got the outlaws coming after. I think it looks like Elik in the distance. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's Elik by the looks of it. Um, so, yes, I, I just love that the, you, your attention is drawn to the, uh, to the shots fired um, over on your left, and then we've got a kind of webbed um uh, outlaw scout chasing you down as well so uh yeah very very nice and then our last screenshot of the day again comes from al karam <clears throat> uh, we did feature this on one of our screenshot showcases which we put out on the social media which is a selection of screenshots um from the community that we put onto our social media uh this one looks a hellishly messy um screenshot but it's the void swarm in action um it looks like somebody's just thrown ball bearings at the screen but yeah this is a, this is the void swarm uh in action doing its damage to that poor outlaw scout i don't think he's realized what hit him there but uh yeah it's a uh, uh, a wonderful screenshot from alcaram uh again over on there do we have any more questions eric or are we all done i've got one more question okay. it came from Husky over on YouTube mm -hmm. asks, when will the art book be available in more countries worldwide? Um, I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, Lee, maybe I'll try to answer that at a certain point. Um, if we can have it available as far as wide as possible, then we will as soon as we can get it to uh, the various places that are going to be selling them for us. But we're still waiting on those to get there. Uh, again, uh, just keep your ear to the ground. We will give you information as soon as we're able to. Once they're available, once they're ready to be on sale for you all, then we'll be notifying you, uh, singing it from the rooftops, because we do want you to get 
your hands on it again i'm just going to show it one last time it is a fantastic book yeah again, i know just it's backwards but you know uh, flip screen but it is a fantastic art book it's not one of those you know I think our original design of 52-page um, booklet wouldn't have done the, the game justice. So uh, I think uh, what we see uh, within the art book um, it is fantastic with all the concept stuff. Uh, looking at things such as ships and equipment. I'm moving myself out of the way, but yeah, you can see it. It's a double-page uh, behemoth. You could almost call it a bit of a leviathan because it's big and heavy. Um, and with the developer ah. stories in there from uh, myself, Eric's in there, Lee's in there, Hans Christian's in there, uh, lots of people in there telling their story about everything uh, to do with Everspace 2, the development, and also obviously the, the, the main focus of the art book. So yeah, uh, as soon as we get it, uh, or Lee's just put in uh, on the Twitch, uh, aiming to get the book out to the major hubs like USA, Canada, Germany, UK, France, etc. And it should be available soon. After that, we'll see what it'll take to make it available any places we've missed. So hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit more information um, on uh, on where it's going to be available. When that is, we'll, we will definitely get you notified and get you all um, up to speed on where you can grab it. But we shall see. Uh, so before, oh, sorry, sorry. Quick, quick comment. Yep. I, I noticed. Well, he said that we're aiming to get to the major hubs, but then he listed Canada. That's kind of that's kind of strange. I feel. Like. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a North American fight going on in a second. Yeah, <laughs> there may be some bloodshed. The North Americans are going to be uh, fighting. You know. Oh. We'll get a bit no, we're all good. Canadian, Morgan. by the way, for, yeah. for anybody who doesn't know. <laughs> Eric is fired. Yeah, we heard it first. He's gone. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you see what you started, you oh. say. You, you take all those Canadians. Oof. They, have to, they have to deal with those uh, polar bears. Uh, but yes, um, we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, just a reminder, if you are on PlayStation 5, there's a current sale on now where you can grab the game at 30% discount. If you are indeed a PlayStation Plus subscriber, then you can get an extra 10% off on top of that. So you get a nice discount of 40% on uh, on the PlayStation 5, which is very, very nice. Um, so yeah, we're doing some diligent work on our upgrade to Unreal Engine 5. It's going to take a while. We've got lots of bugs. We showed you some of those bugs. Always good fun. But uh, I hope you realize that we're doing some great work behind the scenes uh, to benefit the game and in the long term benefit you boys and girls because it means we can make a very stable and a supported game for longer. So uh, that's me for the time being. Anything else you need to say, Eric, before we dive off for the weekend? I'm really appreciative of all of you guys coming back into the new year, strong, showing your support, being with us through this arduous task of tackling the migration over to Unreal Engine 5. Thank you so much for all of the questions today. We hope that we've been able to provide as much clarity as we possibly can. If for some reason you still have more questions, because you do, of course you do, you should really <laughs> join our socials and the many locations you can find us across, you know, Twitter and Twitch and YouTube and Discord. Definitely join the Discord. The Steam forums are always fun and wild and crazy. Reddit is another sound opportunity. Uh, hit us up where Ever you deem worthy and we would love to assist and guide you through what it looks like from our side to get this game in the best shape possible excellent thank you very much uh, as always thank you eric for joining us i hope you get better over the weekend uh if you do have any I questions that. like i say throw them in, into our socials onto our discord and uh, we shall uh, take care of them as soon as we can but uh, as always thank you very much folks uh, have a good weekend whatever you're doing enjoy your gaming uh, take care be good and we'll see you in the next one whenever that is take care for now bye bye don't stop being awesome toodles